All right, please be seated. With respect to the uh, uh, defense offer of proof, there's a statement. In every instance, the court granted our motion to quash and did not compel the production of the, of the records. Um, it herself, that a research, if allowed, might result and certain information being developed. The use of subpoenas under such circumstances are not... He's, to my understanding, he's... ...charge of superseding indictment for the defendant, 016441. Thank you, Steve. All right, uh, serious motions here before... Yeah, ...of, of uh, not speaking Spanish. Yeah. No, I, I have... ...is prepared and then submitted to the... By morning, divers were in the water. K2 was first on the scene as they began their search for bodies, a focused search around nearby boat docks. It's really sad if there, something's going to develop out of this. Condominium residents say at least one member of the Longo family was living here. We were told that, um, that not to be alarmed, but that somebody had been staying here and they suspected him of killing his wife and two kids. Last Saturday, divers found the body of three-year-old Sadie Ann Longo in the Alsi Bay. Days earlier, her brother Zachary had washed ashore. Since then, police boats have searched the Alsi River for clues to their murders. All the while, Christian, Mary Jane, and Madison Longo remained missing. Until now. Late in the afternoon, investigators pulled an adult-sized body out of Yuquina Bay. Moments later, divers went back in and retrieved a second body about the size of a small child. Authorities say these may very well be the bodies of Mary Jane Longo and her two-year-old daughter, Madison. I don't know how to respond. It's, it breaks my heart. Anna Song, K2 News. Lincoln County Sheriff's deputies and the Oregon State Police returned to the area Saturday where the bodies of Mary Jane Longo and her two-year-old daughter were pulled out of the water this week. On the corner of the tabletop, and that'll... With tools normally used for accident reconstruction, they measure carefully various distances on the walkway. Just below their activity, a new photo of Mary Jane appears next to the photo of her children, framed with the words, I love my mommy. How you doing today? Just great. Good. Around town, questions abound regarding the Longos and their deaths. Have they determined that they were, there was foul play? The cause of death is homicidal violence. But so many other questions remain unanswered. How long had Mary Jane and Madison's bodies been in the water in Newport? Were they placed in Yaquina Bay around December 19th, the day Zachary's body surfaced in Elsie Bay? An autopsy showed he'd only been submerged for eight to 10 hours. And what evidence have divers found along with the Longo bodies? There were reports that three-year-old Sadie Ann was discovered wrapped in a sleeping bag with rocks. And then there is the mystery of the missing father. We are still processing scenes. We are still looking at evidence. And of course, with the FBI's help, we are looking for Mr. Longo. The man no one has seen in this area since December 18th, one day before the first member of the Longo family emerged, triggering the discovery of three more. We had our employee Christmas party Tuesday evening, and uh, everything was just like normal. Christian Longo finally got the chance to speak directly to jurors deciding his fate. The Bible says that you should not lie. Uh, the Bible actually says that there's resurrection of both righteous and unrighteous. Longo spent nearly an hour explaining his family's Jehovah's Witnesses religion and leaving his parents to date Mary Jane, the woman he would marry and has already admitted killing. 
they gave me an ultimatum at that point. They said uh, I was still fairly adamant that I wanted to date Mary Jane, and they uh, essentially said you can either live under our roof or you can date Mary Jane. And uh, I chose to move out that next week. Longo's mother, Joy, cried, her son testifying that he and Mary Jane racked up over $13,000 in credit card Very debt little. by the time uh, the Longo's spankings. first child, Zachary, was born. Uh, it didn't the stop there. We got it up to probably close to $25,000. Then came Sadie, Madison, and a further spiral into debt. Christian Longo eventually testified one of the family's cars was repossessed, leading to the couple's first fight. I was upset about that. Uh, I felt that uh, at the outset I reasoned that this was something that she needed. Um, I think internally I was probably thinking more about, you know, what am I going to say to people now that our Ford Taurus has, has been taken? You know, they're suddenly not going to see this car driving around. It was a pride issue with me as much as I think an inconvenience to, to Mary Jane. Still, Longo described his wife Mary Jane with admiration. She would think about my comfort and the comfort of the kids uh, over her or the comfort of anybody else over, over her own. The Ford Taurus she regarded as a, as a comfort for her um, to allow her to, to... They gave me an ultimatum at that point. They said uh, I was still fairly adamant that I wanted to date Mary Jane and they uh, essentially said you can either live under our roof or you can date Mary Jane and uh, I chose to move out that next week. 18 plus one week and a half or so. Was that working out for you? Sure was. It worked out pretty well. It was, had little to no sleep, but outside of that, uh, the contractor was happy that we started working with, and that led to more contractors, and which led to uh, us switching into management as opposed to laborers, and ended up... Uh, a Newport City bus brings members of the Longo jury to one of the crime scenes, the landing at Newport, accompanied by defense attorneys, prosecutors, and the judge handling the case, but not Christian Longo. Prosecutors say it was here that Longo began his killing spree in December 2001, a spree that ended with the murder of his wife, Mary Jane, and the couple's three young children. Good morning, members of the jury. Welcome back. Christian Longo um, listened quietly as prosecutors time, described how Longo there, came home one night to his family's like rented condo and, while sipping wine and eating cheese, Last reached time. out to strangle his wife. He placed his hand on her throat and he began to squeeze. And in a violent struggle, she fought for her life, but she wasn't over, able to overcome the defendant. In a matter of three or four minutes, she was dead. The state didn't say how Longo may have killed his children, other than to say they were suffocated. Prosecutors say evidence retrieved from Longo's computer shows he logged on several times to an online version of the book Hitman, which describes professional killing techniques. It says in part, the corpse should be weighted with standard concrete blocks, but it must be wrapped from head to toe. It also describes the professional killer. He may even be religious in his own way. What the professional lacks is remorse. He feels no guilt. The bodies of Mary Jane Longo and Madison Longo had been packed in suitcases weighed down with diving weights. Zachary and Sadie Longo's bodies were wrapped in a comforter weighed down with large rocks. Let me ask you this, Chris. Is there anyone else we need to be looking for for the deaths of your family? And here's his reply. Not that I'm aware of. Um, at this time, the court calls for trial of the matter of State of Oregon versus Christian Michael Longo. More than a year after his family's murder, Christian Longo finally faces a jury. His parents looking on from the crowded Lincoln County courtroom. Prosecutors reminded jurors of the victims. This is what they looked like before that night. The state argues Mary Jane Longo confronted her husband about an affair he was having months before the murders. And the defendant tells her that he doesn't love her anymore, that he stopped loving her when she started having children. Authorities say Longo's computer shows he repeatedly visited an online version of the book Hitman, a guide to professional killing techniques. It says in part, the corpse should be weighted with standard concrete blocks, but it must be wrapped from head to toe. The bodies of all four victims were put in either suitcases or wrapped in a blanket, then weighed down with rocks or diving weights. Jurors ended their first trial day with a bus ride to the murder scenes in Newport and Waldport. 
When testimony resumes at 9 o'clock Tuesday morning, prosecutors begin calling witnesses, including Longo's ex-co-workers and members of Mary Jane Longo's family, to try and prove a pattern of deceit on the part of Christian Longo in all four killings. In Newport, Bob Hock, K2 News.